Hi. I just thought I'd start this video out showing this. This is one of the reasons why I don't use a lot of electricity in the house. I use this as my main heat. This is my natural gas fireplace insert. And that is plugged into GFCI. So, just so you can see, I'll get up closer. Might have to turn some lighting on. There we go. And we have those in several places throughout the house. And uh, these are Speed Queen washers and dryer, washer dryer. This is a gas dryer. And those are both plugged into the GFCI outlet. These are awesome if you don't have a, and these are almost $2,500 for the pair. So that's why they're plugged into a GFCI. And, uh, very, very, very nice. I wish I would have bought a different gas range. This has got the uh, griddle. And uh, I think that was a mistake. If I did it again, I would get like five burners instead of the griddle portion. The griddle gets dirty. <laughs> Anyways. Then we have our dogs. It's breakfast time, so they're all eating. And they all get meat mixed in with their food dishes. Knock it off. So, I come out here and checked earlier, and we had we had a dusting of snow last night, not much, but we had wind yesterday and my, this building, I took down, there's some plywood, I was trying to level out underneath, this is my power shed and this is heated and I've been staying about 60% state of charge on my batteries and that's why I'm making this video because today and it was windy we're down to 38% state of charge so I went from 55 to 60 down to 38 but we haven't had to, yesterday we had some winds you know they were it was still windy last night we had snow and I was only at 95% state of charge at 3 p.m. yesterday. So, I did go ahead and turn my grid on just in case. I turned everything on in this panel just in case. It hasn't came on. So, and this will only take the, I'd set the, this where it'll switch the grid at 25%, we're at 38. So we do have a buffer. And, oh, we're charging the batteries now. Okay, so we are producing enough solar, even with the panels having a, a little bit of snow on them. And as you can, I don't know how well you can see in the distance, we don't get a lot of trees protecting this area. Okay. So we get pretty good winds. The only thing I can think of is this building 
the uh, wind came in, you know, and had this heater running too much yesterday. So, with the wind, th this, this shed is going to be part of our remodel work this spring and summer and fall. I'm going to put insulation underneath. There's no insulation in the floor. And uh, then that should keep it from, and I might put some continuous insulation all the way around on the outside. I have R30 up in the ceiling, so I might put a half inch or an inch layer of uh, continuous insulation board. And what that would do is it would stop the wind penetrations. And depends on what I can find at a reasonable price and then I'll put some strips which if you see my um, picture on on this site you'll see that I did that on that house that house is super energy efficient and I think I lost my battery storage due to this building and see that heater just kicked on again Okay. Oh, and see now it's swapped over. It's uh, showing I'm not producing enough solar yet. But if you can see that, it's showing putting power from the batteries, and it's it's this heater. So I'm gonna work on getting this building more energy efficient this spring and summer, and hopefully that will take down my draw on my batteries. I want to figure it out where I never have to have the grid as a backup. And I did do, you know, the grid as a backup today. I, I just turned that on this morning, about half hour ago. So, I didn't want to run my batteries down too low. But the culprit is right here, that cadet heater. This building is not energy efficient enough. We didn't come and finish the sheetrock. I used to have the dogs staying in here. That's why that's so dirty back there. And, uh, you know, we'll probably end up painting that. And they tore up the sheetrock, got into the wiring, so I had to replace the wiring and so we're gonna we're gonna fix these penetrations too. Okay. That yeah, that's why this door is so dirty. You can see how they they scratch at the sheetrock and they just tore this tore all this up. I mean it was destroyed so we're gonna we're gonna fix patch all that and maybe give it a little bit of a makeover in here i'm not gonna rip everything off the wall but we'll paint the stuff that we can get to fix the sheetrock that we can you know make make sure that we have as few penetrations air penetrations as we can but yeah got to save our battery storage for for our uh, winter time and that wind I think is the culprit as to why it ate up so much of our battery so we'll do something about it this spring and summer I have people showing up that'll do that type of stuff for me anyways please like comment and subscribe